In your previous episode about seed sowing, there's a question I left at the end of the video. And there was this pot A and there's pot B. Obviously, the pot A had more seeds that had germinated, whereas the pot B didn't have that much. So I was asking you guys, what seems to be the problem? And this episode is actually the answer to that question. And it's all about sterilization. To give you a reward for watching for learning, dito lang yung sa succulents and spikes. I'm going to give four gifts. Okay, I'm going to give the plants to you guys. Whoever has the best answer to my questions at the end of the video, siya yung pipiliin ko. Hello Cactus Boys and Girls, welcome again to Succulent and Spikes. And today, we have a lot of surprises for you and we also are going to talk about a lot of things. So stay tuned. And sa channel na to, lahat ng bagay about cactus and succulents, pinag-usapan namin. Kung hindi pa kayo nakakasubscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo so that you won't miss anything whenever we're going to upload a video. Okay? I want to talk about this in details because if you're new to this hobby, especially to seed sowing and then uh, you, you tried something and then it just died because you didn't know what actually happened or what went wrong. Nawawala ng gana. And it's kind of bit sad kasi nawawala sa hobby. That brings me to hit the 60,000 seeds mark. I want to share everything to you guys so that we could sustain the hobby. We could st sustain the industry. I want you guys to have a steady interest in, in the cactus and succulent hobby. And that's my main goal here. That's why I'm teaching everything to you guys so that we can also have a local production of our own. Um, basically, it's very easy. Eh? There is just three steps, diba? Right? Three steps. But the most important one is the sterilization. And yun ang hindi alam ng iba. And this is one of the most important things that you really need to know. Even if hindi sa seed sowing, sa, pag, sa regular pagpapat lang, it's, this is actually very important. And that's the reason why we are here in Adid and Adids kasi they have a tissue culture laboratory. And they're going to share yung practices nila for sterilization. Now guys, when we talk about sterilization, it involves one major thing. Heat. Heat either through fire or steam with sterilization the number one thing that you have to remember is first you shouldn't go to the 100 degrees celsius mark because uh, when you reach that level um nagkakaroon ng chemical reactions doon sa soil mix and hindi natin nakokontrol minsan yung mga chemical reactions na yun uh, those chemical reactions sometimes has uh, byproducts na hindi natin alam kung nakakabuti ba doon sa plant or hindi. And baka mamaya mamatay yung seedlings, hindi mag-germinate or magkaroon ng intoxication. There are a lot of equipments that you can use. There are a lot of methods that you can uh, practice. First, you can use the microwave. For the microwave, uh, okay na yung one minute. And then just put it on the lowest or the minimal heat that you can use, okay na yun. Microwave is actually one of the best equipments that you can use kasi it really helps to eradicate the yung eggs, yung fungus spores, any insects, um, yung mga maggots. It's definitely going to kill some um, a lot of bacteria. So maganda siya. Uh, I would definitely recommend you using microwave. But uh, the only problem that you, uh, that you have with microwave is that hindi siya pwedeng pang madamihan. Okay? Siyempre, ilan lang yung ilalagay mo doon with the little space that he has. Uh, konti lang talaga siya. Whereas kung, halimbawa, oh, by the way, you can also, number two, you can use oven, yung kahit anong oven uh, that your mom used for baking. So, you can actually use that one. Uh, again, it's, it's in a Fahrenheit, diba? So, make, just making sure that you won't miss the 100 degrees Celsius, convert na lang. Don't reach that level. And then, uh, before I forget, kailangan moist or wet yung soil mix. Or else, kung ilalagay mo yung dry soil mix sa microwave or sa oven, baka masunog yan kapag masyadong mataas yung temperature, okay? Sa oven, um, 
5 to 10 minutes is okay. Okay na siya. Advantage niya, pwede siya pang madamihan. And mas kulub siya, mas kontrolado mo yung environment. Diba? The third thing na ginagamit for sterilization is yung pressure cooker. Here in Aridenaris, they have a very big, very, very big yung pressure cooker. And we also have an interview doon sa isa sa mga laboratory technicians nila na si Joan. And here's it. So dito sa Aridenaris, uh, ano yung trabaho mong ginagawa? Bale, nagpo-propagate kami ng orchids sa ornamentals. Pero yung main focus namin, yung hybrids nila to sa orchids. O, paano kayo po-propagate? Through what means? A septic technique po. Bale, nagpo-propagate kami gamit ang laminar flow under as uh, um, condition no? environment bale may temperature may medium na ginagamit for specific ano plants so that's basically what we call tissue culture sa so sa when it comes to the sanitation of your equipments ano ginagawa ano ginagamit niyo ano lang ah yung ano po yung pressure cooker bale ginagamit namin yung, yung pressure cooker para sterilize yung medium na gagamitin namin sa pagtatanim ng halaman. Para ma-ensure yung ano, na hindi talaga tutuguan ng microorganisms, ginagawa namin 30 minutes. Pero usually, sa, ano na siya, 15 PSI for 15 minutes. Effective siya. Mm. So, pero para siyang SOP talaga, procedure for TC talaga. Mm. Okay. So, nakita niyo na yung pressure cooker. Um, ang maganda sa kanya, pang madamihan siya. And it's also being used by a lot of uh, yung laboratories talaga. The fourth one is the one that I use right now. So what I do, nagpapakulo ako ng, ng, ano, ng water. Okay. And then there's, hinahanda ko na yung soil mix ko, nilalagay ko na siya sa isang malaking container. And then yung water na pinakuluan ko, ilalagay ko lang doon. And I just let it go for two to three hours. And then after noon, Tsaka ko na siya ginagamit for soil mix. Okay na siya. Ah, sun bathing. Um, you also need to learn about the sun bathing. What you need to do is, latag nyo lang yung soil mix sa floor or in a container. Uh, let it rest under the sun for 2 to 3 days. Full sun yun ha. Uh, much better if you're going to use plastic to cover it para, para matanggal natin yung other contaminants. So the last one would be the most controversial one it's uh, sterilization through chemical winds sa Thailand kasi I was taught na gumamit ng ganitong method medyo advanced siya so um, make it sure now if you're going to use this method do it with precaution okay this is I uh, don't recommend it for newbies okay kasi minsan uh, my first batch using this method was uh, had some problems na stunt yung seedlings ko ang tagal, ang tagal, hindi ni sila makarecover some have died uh, some talaga talagang maliit ngayon um, talagang reject sila so um, for me, try the basic first okay, how do you use this method? kasi sa, sa pagsusaw ng seeds okay, so do you have pot? ba? for example to, you have a pot I'm going to fill this up with a layer of soil and then lalagyan ko siya ng fertilizer first yung fertilizer muna and then another thin layer ng soil mix and then I'm going to put the insecticides na okay another thin layer I'm going to put the uh, fungicides na and a thin layer again okay and tapos na ilalagay isusaw ko ng seeds sa ibabaw minsan naglalagay pa ako ng uh, sand on top ng mga seeds it depends kung cactus or succulents, pero most of the time hindi na. Uh, so that's what we do for the chemical sterilization. Pero again, uh, I suggest that you do the basic first before doing this stuff uh, kasi um, baka hindi natin makontrol. <laughs>Okay, guys, okay, so supposedly we are going to have only four winners, diba? But I'm going to, well, padadamin pa natin, so I'm going to make it at six. Four winners would be in YouTube, and then uh, on our Twitter account, there's going to be one winner, and then on our Facebook account here, okay? 
uh, Facebook page, I'm going to choose another winner. And guys, kung merong nagsasona ng seed sa inyo, I wanna see it sana, please post it on Facebook. I'm going to have another game for that one. And, oh, by the way, in our next episode, we are going to have an unwrapping. Okay, this tray is about mga nandito sa loob is already about mga magunta two years na and nakakover sila for several months so I want you guys to see what's what's going to happen kapag nakaganito first hand information to and I hope to see you guys on our next video okay whoever has the best answer to my questions at the end of the video siya yung pipiliin ko kayo bahala na shipping fee and this is my way of uh, saying thank you to guys okay. I also would like to thank Added and Adoids Sir Boyet again again thank you so much Sir Boyet for uh, the opportunity to, to have a video shoot here thank you guys for watching See you on our next video and I hope na gusto nga yung video episode natin yan. Guys, again, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so that you won't miss anything. Lalo kung may pa-games tayo ngayon. Okay? Thank you guys. See you again ha. Bye-bye.